All right, I, I want to go back to a scene that you mentioned briefly when we were talking about girl girl scenes. It was a scene with you and Angel Smalls, which I shot for Twisties. And that was, I guess, what they call a lifting scene. And that was like one of the first times I'd ever shot a scene like that. And it was like this new fetish that was like kind of a thing. And you were like the queen of it because you have to be really strong to yeah. do this. So can you explain to people what this fetish is and are you still doing it? Like, is it still a thing? Cause it was hot for a minute. You know, I feel like when I went out, like on my break for, you know, going to school and everything, yeah. it stopped because there was no one who could do it. Like I did it. So the big thing is for a guy, the whole fetish was built around you. Well, when you left, it was done. No, like it was, I so believe it. Up, right. Like, so what it is, is bodybuilder women, would lift guys to make them feel small. A lot of men like really strong women. Some like little tiny things and that's fine too. But like most men like really strong women that can handle them. So, and trust me, I can prove that from my fucking DM list and my Twitter timeline. Lift me like Jordy, lift me like Jordy. I'm like, yeah, okay, fine. But it's, it was, I did it with Piper and it was a female and she's 70 pounds. And that's something else the bodybuilder females do. It's a very niche thing. And it's really shot well by, like, Aziani shoots it. He has his, like, muscle hard body girls. Those are the girls that do that stuff. That's what they do. So I did it with Piper. And then the next thing, actually, the, my first scene I ever did it, I found it was Nikki Benz's first anal for Brazzers. Long time ago with Abigail, with Abby Brooks. Then mm-hmm. I did this with Piper. And it, it kind of was, it was, like, noted, right? It was everywhere, but it wasn't a thing. Then they did me with Jordy. And that little fucker doesn't speak English at the time. Like, I love him to death. Everyone knows I love Jordy. But I was like, okay. And Tony's like, hey, Phoenix, I want you to lift this dude. I think you can do it. I'm like, that's a dude. Like, I'm not lifting a dude. Like, how do I even do it? And he goes, do you think you can? I'm all. And by the way, I'm in heels and a skirt and a blouse. And I'm like, I look like a lady. Why am I getting, okay, fuck it. So I tell Jordy the best I can in my broken English. I'm all, hey, I'm going to lift you. And he's like, Okay. Oh no, I'm gonna lift him, Jordy. And he goes, okay. I'm like, fine. So I went underneath him and I curl him and I start blowing him. Right. So I'm like, you see that pose of me just like blowing this way. So then, Mm -hmm. during stills, it was great because I can gently bring him down. Right. So onto like we had like a little bench thing that we had to work with in front of the fireplace. So I gently like let him step down. Well, during the video, I can't gently let him stand down. That just ruins the momentum of it. I guess I went like this and dropped him and he power bombed him. He just like fell out on the fucking bench. I got so much like wrestling. You should be in wrestling. Da, 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 da. And I'm like, okay, whatever. So then we go to pile driver. Now, usually the females in pile driver, right? Right. That's where, like, our legs are over our heads and our asses in the air. So guys can like dip. Best position of all time. <laughs> okay. This mother trucker has to be in pile driver and I'm on top of him. So I'm like, Jordy, pile driver. And I'm like showing him. And he's like, okay. And he goes to step over. And I'm like, no, 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 you. <laughs> and he's like, huh? So I grab him. I just boom, flip him there. And he's like, <laughs> I just, you know, we're, we're on set. I'm getting a little tired. We've done some things. And I guess I did it so fast. Like his eyes were just like, what the fuck happened? I text uh, one of the people from Mind Geek, And I was like, does he hate me? I feel like he hates me after this. And he's like, no. Then I did Connor Cox for Reality Kings. Then all of a sudden, all the females that were ever born, I was doing this too. I did like a, so Angel Small scene, right? We did that one. And then right afterwards, they had me do, I don't like squirt, okay? Mm-hmm. I, that, I have three no's. Don't smack, smack my ass, don't prolapse on me, and don't squirt on me. Mm-hmm. Well, Twisties was like, hey, the Angel Small scene did so good. Let's do Gina Valentina. And I was like, okay, fine. They do not tell me about the squirt. I am hard no squirt, okay? Mm-hmm. Gina comes to set and she's like tired. And I was like, well, she doesn't even seem like she wants to be here. And I was, and again, in my first, I love Gina, like we're girls, but I was like, yeah. she doesn't want to be here. Like sometimes, and just, we, and then, sometimes we don't want to be there. <laughs> yeah, no, exactly. And she had to drive from LA to Vegas. So I can see yeah. being tired. Right. So then they hand me the script and I had told the Amy like ahead of time, I'm all, I don't do squirt. And she goes, okay, cool. We'll revamp the squirt thing. Well, they left the squirt in and I was like, hi no squirt and they're like oh, okay well just improvise well gina had like been drinking water all day long so she could pee everywhere and so i grab her and i was like the only way we're doing this is if 
I grab her, hold her, and she pees that way, right? Not okay, on- gotcha. Right. So again, I'm just like nasty, disgusting. I don't want to be in urine. That's not my thing. Yeah. So she pees all over the place that way. Well, she was my maid. And then I was like, and again, me and Gina hadn't even had a conversation at this point. So I shoved the rag in her mouth <laughs> and I used her as a mop to get all the squirt up. I start spinning her in it. Like as a kid, when you spin in water on the like, you know, slip and slides, I'm like, she's drenched in her own urine. I take it and I rip it out in her mouth. Like it was hardcore lifting and guys love it. I don't, I think it's just the fact that you can do it. And then I know that I know some people drop some people in the industry mm-hmm. and I feel like it stopped. Like I wasn't there. Who else is going to lift these chicks and dudes? I lifted a 150 pound man and flipped them. Like, wow. I wasn't supposed to do that. You I need like hazard pay for that kind of shit. I do. <laughs> I charge more. <laughs> I remember you said that you're well, like, yeah, well, I, I mean, it's really hard on your body. Oh, my shoulder. Oh, like, and my big thing is when they have me do it with a new girl who I explain inertia to, like, hey, listen, object in motion remains in motion unless it gets acted upon by an unbalanced force. And if they go against me, my shoulder hurts. Like, if they have, they had me covered in oil once. I am Sheen. This girl is Sheen, and she doesn't know how to be in place. And I did not drop her because I will never drop a bitch. I won't do it if I if I think she's too big. So I flipped her, and she's starting to slide down my body. And I'm trying to catch her and get her to put her like knees here. I'm like, don't die, no. <laughs> <laughs> and Vic's watching me like do this and he is laughing the whole time he's like this is fucking ridiculous Melissa I don't know why you're doing this so I was like why not and like there were some people who really didn't get off while filming that and I understand that because most of our guy directors are like I want to see you fuck a bitch I don't want to see you flip a bitch right also too I think like I know for me as a director I would be the whole time like oh my god is there gonna be a workers comp claim is she gonna drop her am I gonna take him to the hospital like you know, I'm just thinking about like liability issues did you feel that way with me just asking no 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 no. that was fine I mean I don't remember you doing anything that was like super insane like no I just you know you didn't that. use her as a human mop so um I wasn't terribly worried <laughs> it was great though like that scene was like and it did it was number one on twisties that year so obviously of dudes loved it, it. Like, of course random I shooting people like, like I think also too, like people love seeing something that's so you un- that's so unique and different. It's like porn has been shot so many times, so many different ways. It's oh, yeah. it feels like there's nothing new to do. You know, we've done it all. So when there's something new and different, I think people really jump on that because people, you know, they like want variety. Oh yeah, and then like for me, it, it's something unique. One, like I had Derek Pierce come up to me one time, and he's like you know, way to go. I'm like, what do you mean? He goes, Phoenix 2.0. I'm like, How, what are you talking about? He goes, no other chick's been in this 13 years and revamps herself. Like yeah. you are a hot commodity. Not like you were ever not, but he goes, you have something no one else can do. You have something that is totally your niche. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, make sure that you subscribe so you don't miss a single episode and go check out all the other videos. I film every single one of my podcasts. And if you want to listen to the audio version, I'm on iTunes and all the other podcast platforms. Visit hollyrandallunfiltered.com to find out more.